For this uh, quick and rough edition of Homeworker Helper, we'll be looking at the last page of the graphing packet where you have to make a type of graph called a histogram. Uh, I'm going to be doing this in Sharpie, so hopefully I don't screw anything up. And if I haven't edited it, this is going to be loud and annoying, but there we go. So it says right here at the bottom of the instructions, you're going to be taking this data and putting it into 10 centimeter uh, bins or categories. So it gives you some examples of what it means by 10 centimeters, 130 to 139, 140 to 149, and I just bumped the camera, and I'm sure that was loud and annoying. It probably won't be the last time that happens. In order to do this, the first thing we want to do is figure out how many bins we're going to have. So we find our biggest number, which is, you know, in there. And then we find our smallest number, which is also in there. We find our biggest and our smallest number, and then we subtract them from each other. So I've got my scrap paper here because there's not a whole lot of room for doing this math on the paper. We take our biggest number, subtract it from our or subtract our smallest number, two uh, from nine is 70. Then we're going to divide it by 10 because they're 10 centimeter bins. So we're gonna divide that by 10, that gives us seven. Then we have to add one. We're looking to have eight bins. The reason why you need to add one is because if you do not add one, you will be one bin short. That's how it works. So we're gonna have eight 10 centimeter bins. So we have our smallest height, we have our largest height, should be eight bins total. Each of them are 10 centimeters as we set up here. So the next thing that you should probably do is just list all 10 of those sweet, sweet bins and how many people fit into each bin. So we'll go ahead and do that. And uh, so we got 120 to 129, that's one bin. Then we have one 30 to 139 like it says up there 140 to 149 and so on and so forth so here they are one two three four five six seven eight bins then what you're going to be doing here because it says number of people that's called a frequency when you make a histogram you're doing a frequency or a distribution so the title of this graph while we're at it will actually be distribution of height. Feel free to actually write the word distribution. I wanted to make sure that it stayed in camera and looked good, but the distribution of height or height distribution. So we have to figure out how many people fit into each of these eight bins. So you just count, you know, how many people fall in the range of 120 to 129 centimeters. So we look through our data here and we count them. We have, I like to mark them off so I don't count them twice. We have one, two, and that's it. Two people fit into that bin. We have 130 to 139. 130 to 139. If they fit in that bin, they count. So, one, two, that's it. Two. You just do that for each of these. So after you go through and count, and I'm not going to do it for you, I already gave you the bins, just go through and, uh, you know, you X'd off everyone to make sure you didn't count it twice and that you did count them all. Just go through, and that should add up to 26. If whatever this is doesn't add up to 26 for the 26 people, then something went wrong. And then, just like you did before, you'll use the training wheels, right? Eight will be your range for your x-axis. So you're just gonna figure out how big each bin should be, right? Just, you know, count your lines, do your thing. Let's say they're supposed to be about this big. So you do that right there and you just label this one as 120 to 129. And now obviously uh, you're still gonna have height or you could say, ooh, G-H-T, you say height range and put that sucker in centimeters because that's the unit we were using here. And you're just gonna plot how many people fit into each bin. So the next bin, you know, would be, uh, what, 130 to 139, and so on and so forth all the way across using, you know, the scale that you figured out. We don't need to go all the way up to 26. We just, whatever the biggest number out of these, whatever the biggest number is out of these, that's what we're gonna use for our scale here. And then we just plot your data, just plot your data. 
let's say you got two people and two people is about here. Then right here, you just go bloop, 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 bar graph. All right, so you're gonna make a nice little bar graph. Histograms are usually in bar graph form. You could also do like the dots or X's, however you prefer. Hopefully that uh, clarifies things. If not, you will probably be in class working on this, so you could ask a Mr. Patterson IRL. Thanks guys, hopefully uh, you get this all done then.